Okay. Can you guys hear me now? I just changed something. Yes. Okay, good. So, great. Okay, everybody can hear me. So, my name is Laura Gordon. Welcome um, to our meeting. And it's interesting because I'm running a meeting with a couple of people here physically in the room, and I'm watching your messages coming up as you're talking to me at the same time. So it's kind of like a bunch of people yelling at me at once, which is like me in my home with my two boys and my husband. I'm used to it. So anyway, welcome to our user group meeting. We have Helvetio here um, from Brazil. And just a quick introduction to everyone. We're hosting this meeting at uh, Rutgers University, um, the School of Arts and Sciences of Rutgers here in New Brunswick. Um, host over 120 or 100 Joomla websites um, for the School of Arts and Sciences, and our team here manages those websites. Uh, so it's a pretty exciting endeavor that we do here uh, with Joomla. So I thank the Rutgers community to give us space to host this meeting and um, to give us the time to be able to do it. So thank you. Um, and now I'm going to just pass it over to you. Okay. So introduce yourself and we'll start. Hello everyone, my name is Elvatio. You may also call me Elvis, make your life easier. Okay. 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 So. so should we start again? No, you're good. Okay. So my name is Elvis. You may call me Elvis. Uh, I'm a graphic designer and I've been use, using Joomla since the very second day. I used to for those of you who know Mambo, I started using the CMS with Mambo. And then I moved straight away for, to Joomla. And as a graphic designer, I decided to take a different path. And uh, I'm not a developer. I develop websites. But mostly nowadays what I do is consulting because I decided to go into the what Joomla can do for my clients and how it can do can do it. So what happens is that in over ten years, I started to get some knowledge that uh, has been quite large. And uh, today I'm bringing you a little uh, presentation about Joomla and Bootstrap. I have talked to Laura previously, and uh, I was. I decided that would take uh, this presentation would be the very bare bones of Joomla and Bootstrap. So, if anyone has any uh, uh, questions later, uh, you can ask me later, no problem. And uh, if I cannot answer you right now, uh, please let me have your emails, and I can contact you later. Okay. Uh, I'm really sorry because every time I make a presentation in English, I get a little anxious and so my English goes up. <laughs> so uh, we'll start right now. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you this uh, is talk a bit, a little bit about uh, Joomla templates using Bootstrap. Okay, that's the name of the presentation. And uh, who never heard of Bootstrap? Okay, everybody heard about it. So, you know Bootstrap is a framework that helps us create uh, responsive websites or web pages. You can do a lot of things with Bootstrap, and there are many uh, frameworks out there, but Bootstrap has been chosen to be part of Joomla, to be used by Joomla CMS since the uh, version 3. And uh, it's still uh, being used, and it's some, and so because of that, I started studying Bootstrap a while ago. I don't consider myself an expert on Bootstrap, but for me, that I know quite a, a lot about HTML, uh, I realized it helped me to make my life way much more easier when it comes to putting together a website in. HTML, which I also still do nowadays for some clients of mine, and uh, I do it very quickly because at some point I started to learn how to create responsible websites, and it's a lot of work. And Bootstrap really saves a lot of time for me. And uh, so, 
one of the everyone here is has created Joomla templates or not? No, you have not. Okay. Um, you have. No. You have not. Who has? Raise your hands who has not created a Joomla template. Okay. Okay. So what basically we can say that a Joomla template is an HTML uh, page, a, a file, with some, uh, oh my god, I forgot what it's string. We know what, we may not have created them from scratch, uh -huh. but we use templates. Okay. And sometimes we may modify for overrides and things with the template. But here at Rutgers, we haven't had to build it from scratch. Mm -hmm. But we've worked with templates okay. in different frameworks. So mm -hmm. we're now using the Gantry framework. Oh, good. But we'd okay. rather see <laughs> the blank. Yes. Okay, I have nothing on Gantry right now. That's Sorry. okay. No, we're not looking for that. We're looking for uh -huh. the core base. Yes. But the, the, the thing is that I would like to say is that, for example, if you have any uh, maybe um, need to create a quick template mm -hmm. using HTML, and you know the basics of HTML, and you add uh, Bootstrap and you add Joomla to it, it's going to make your life very easy. So it's not going to be like, you know, go crazy. I really don't uh, have anything on the entry right now. So we don't need it. Okay. No. So what I'm going to do is I created a very basic template. You will see it's very, those of you who know HTML, you see it's very, very basic. And it became, it, I turned it into a basic uh, Joomla templates. I call it, I call it the blank. <laughs> so it's, it's very, but uh, let's get there, that we have still a few things to talk about. More. So we covered a little bit about Bootstrap and Joomla and Bootstrap, so uh, it was really, and the truth is that right now Bootstrap is running uh, version 3, which rather, I think, Three something, I forgot right now. But Joomla is still running uh, version 2.3.2 of Bootstrap in the core. Uh, it's not great, but it's accept acceptable because even so, there has been so many changes since 2.3.2 to 3. Uh, it's a still great framework, and you still can do a lot of it. So uh, we're expecting that Joomla 4 that should be released sometime in your future. I really don't have a date right now, but I know it's on the way. It will have some kind of way to overcome the next uh, updates of Bootstrap, but I'm not really 100% sure about that yet. Okay. So right now I have to stick with 2.3.2. So for this presentation, I'm using blank template with the basic code to create a Joomla template. The code is divided into four sections. The head, the code for the head, the page header, the page body, and the page footer. Very basic. And the only classes that I added to this template are container and map. Very basic, okay? There's a lot of classes that you can learn from Bootstrap. It's not that complicated because they have a great documentation, even for version 2.3.2, which I will give you the URL afterwards. And if you read it in no time, you will be started. It's very, very easy. It's not, it's not something like you take forever. And it's, uh, it's very concise, in my opinion, and you can start very quickly after if you read it a few times. Oh, so uh, I just chose these two classes just so you will notice that just by adding two classes, what the magic happens very quickly when I need to format my page. Okay, so. Now let's get out of here and 
I am showing you So this is actually a Joomla installation with the blank template, but the blank template is really but nothing. There's no CSS feed. And so this is what you see when you have no formatting added to your page. Okay? No that. So I get here the navigation, a title. This is a tag for this content underneath. Here, it's perfect screen, everything fits in here. <laughs> and so the search, search uh, box and the footer, it just has the year that we're on, okay? So, I'm, now I'm gonna show you the code To see it right here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Anything? Oh, good. So this is the code for so very basic. For those of you who know uh, Joomla template uh, code, you see it's very very basic. But that, that's what I wanted to be. So here we have the. This is required for Joomla, for Joomla template, and then we start here our HTML. We have in the head, see, you will notice that I have a few uh, commented lines here, and those will, I will uncomment them, and then you will see the, how changes happen. So, uh, first, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a uh, JDoc include type head where all information that is supposed to be inserted on in the head of our each page is uh, this variable. A variable. A variable. A variable uh, will be used to do so. But when you have uh, some extra, like CMS, like Joomla, for example, you will need to add these three lines here. Okay, so actually, the first line, I will uncomment this. The first line here is the one that calls the bootstrap that it resides in the core of Joomla. Okay, so in this case, after all of this, that media, J-U-I, C-S-S, bootstrap, C-S-S, that's where you will find your bootstrap files. This J37RC1, it belongs to my uh, URL here, so you can forget that. You just go into the media folder and from there down, and you will find all the bootstrap files that belong to the core Joomla system. Okay, so uh, you don't have to download Bootstrap from elsewhere if you want to fly it to Joomla right away. Okay? Second line, it's a call to the Bootstrap JavaScript file. Pretty much the same, resides on the same, same folder? Wait, I'm sorry, just a second, I had to. Double check that. I'm not sure if it's in. Just a moment, please. Okay, make it made a mid. Yes, sorry. Small mistake here. So it's not CSS, it's JS. That's good. So inside the JS 
JavaScript folder, you'll find bootstrap.js, which will help you to run some uh, scripts that you Bootstrap also provides. Okay, you can find those scripts on the website that I'll let you know afterwards. And third, least but not less important, is a custom CSS file. Why a custom CSS file? More than once, you will find the need to overwrite uh, the formatting of your bootstrap for whatever reason. Maybe, oh, you don't like the color, you don't like the typing. Excuse me? <laughs> yes, so it, I, I think it's, hard, it's impossible not to need to change something in any web and uh, a project that you like to develop. So you have to need this uh, custom CSS file, which will be residing under CSS, the template name folder and the templates folder. Okay, and it should always come last. Do you know why? Yes, because if you put it before the bootstrap, the override will not work. So it should always come last. So that's it. So what we have done here, we have activated in our code bootstrap. So now let's take a look at our Go back and take another look. Yeah, let's take a look at our code. Uh, here, you will see that it's great that the screen is so big that all the code fits in it. So if you take a look over here, uh, we have to call the class container, class not bar. So container, basically what it does is center, and add a, it's a big prison container for your, the content of your page. So that's why when we activated the CSS, we have that box around our content, so very pretty and neat. And then we have the knob bar, so you may have noticed that once I activated it, our Nafa that was uh, an, an ordered list became this. Okay, remember that this is an actual Joomla installation, so this is a functional navigation. It's a, it's a little bit of Portuguese in it because I use this for the sandbox for my stuff. See? Send back to the home. So you see everything looks in place. We're using a URL here. Everything looks cute. We got the a table that's on place. We got these cool icons from Bootstrap. Everything is Bootstrap here. Just like that. So All this bootstrap. Okay, using the Joomla code, of course. So back to home. So what we got here, we got a page, navigation on the top. This is the content. Remember that Joomla that wasn't there. It, it, it's a tag. So here it's, it looks nicer, way much nicer. So it makes sense what it is. And here's our search box. But it's in the Bottom of our page, not good, right? 
So, but anyway, let's go back and take a look at the code, and you will see that we all did was at this container class, not bar container, and that started the container here as well. And I just got something more in place. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, you see, we still have some more uh, comment, comment, commented code here, <coughs> and uh, these three lines are repeated here down underneath. For those of you who don't know, first one is a uh, call for messages. If you have any issue and do a need to show your message, oh, this page cannot be shown for whatever reason, this call, this variable will be used. Component is where all the contents of Joomla is displayed. Okay, so articles, whatever, component. And last but not least, I have one module position here that I call right, and that's where my search box is being displayed. Okay, so if you notice, all of these are back down here on the commented line. So message here, component is here, and right is here. And now I will comment these three lines and I will uncomment this portion of the code. I'm using regular comment uh, HTML to comment the slide, so it's not anything out of this world. Plain HTML. So now what I've got, now I've got some extra classes. You will notice that uh, our masses and com components are wrapped within a class called spin 8. And our modules R right is wrapped in another div called, with a class called spend 4. For those of you who don't know, Bootstrap uses a 12 grid system, a 12 column grid system. Okay, so uh, if you want to place stuff, stuff on your page, you can always think of 12 and divide them as the way you want to. So you will notice that spend 8 and spend 4 add up to 12. So what I will have on my page, I have a two column layout, very basic, and on the left it will spend 8 columns, and then I have a second column that will spend 4 columns. Okay? And all of this is wrapped in another div that's called row. So you have a row with two columns. So that's basically, if you keep that in mind, it makes your life way much easier. Because there's a lot of ways to use your bootstrap to lay out on your page. But if you start that thinking that I have a row and I can put columns in it, that starts to make it a lot easier. So Try to think. Have a row for the header. Have a row for the content. I have a row for the food. And in each row, you can put as many, not as many, up to 12 columns anywhere you want. So it could be 6, 6, 4, 8, 10, 2, 11, 1. It's up to you. Whatever you're putting it together. So now that I have made this change, Let's take a look what happens to our page in terms of columns. It's Sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> so the bottom where we had our search box is gone, and it came up here. And you will notice that the, the content that was standing all the way to the end, towards the right, now stops here, and we have the search box here. See? So, it looks good. Okay? 
And uh, you will notice that the home button has a yellow background. Why? That's uh, why. That's when the custom CSS comes in place. If I go back to my code and I comment the line where I point to the custom CSS, I say. <laughs> We will see the original color that that bootstrap uh, used to that button as a background. Okay, so this is very basic. But if you start working with bootstrap, you will notice that it's pretty much like that. You just have to know where sub is, where which classes are which. So if we now we go to If you go to this URL, gatbootstrap.com slash 2.3.2, you will find HTML template examples, layout CSS styles that I used by uh, Bootstrap. Fundamental HTML styles enhanced because you can do more. Like, for example, you can use the JavaScript to create more stuff that's interesting on your layout. For example, uh, it's, it's a, a carousel and stuff like that. And you notice that you can you will find there are useful components to provide navigation, alerts, proposals, and more. This what that you have seen is just one example. You have several others. And jQuery plugins that bring components to life. Let me show you quickly. Okay, <laughs> I'm halfway there. Oh, there. I have an external keyboard. <laughs> I never used this one. So. Okay, so this is an old bootstrap website that's still in place. So here you'll find the, few, the full documentation for bootstrap 2.3.2. And you start from here. You see, you can skip most of this this tree. Uh, you can read it, but when it comes to creating a template or looking at the Java template, you can start from here. You see, there's like a basic. This is all HTML. So if you want to know more about Bootstrap, I strongly suggest that you start with plain HTML, stop playing around with it, and then you move on to creating a general template. Start for a simple one, and then in no time you will see that you'll be doing some amazing stuff. Okay? Because the good, great thing for me regarding Bootstrap is that I must remind you that I am not a coder. I am not a code developer. I don't create PHP, I don't create JavaScript, nothing. I'm a graphic designer. So a thing, something like Bootstrap is very helpful because it gives me all the tools that I can provide to my clients a, a, a better experience when creating a layout. So for example here, see? Looks nice, doesn't it? Just add bootstrap, 
you're good to go. And a few good aimers as well. In your example, though, you were showing us bootstrap and a template, right? Yes. Okay. And that's the bootstrap that's within the Joomla core, which is this that you're seeing. So, for example, <coughs> if you need to get all this, see, if you study this page, for example, with this round uh, round place, image place holders, this navigation, drop down that works. You see, you can easily make it happen in general as well. Okay? Once you know what's strapped. Right. And also, there will be modules and uh, extensions in general that will provide you with even better choices of, especially for menus, but right? other responsive uh, code that will help you create even better experiences in your website. Okay? To make give you an example of this code, this template? No. Do you have to go the old-fashioned way? I'm sorry, it's in Portuguese, but this okay. it says show the code, uh, show the source code. So you have to. Uh, oh, but it's so commented though. Oh yeah, because here you find explanation what it does and what it does not. You see, if it is further, you that's why it's easy to understand because you also. Once you open the code, you will find further explanation. Oh, there's also a small trick to this version of uh, Bootstrap. If you open the code, you will notice that there are some extra CSS and some of them. This, no, not here. Sorry, sorry. No. That looks, that's all. It must be embedded CSS. Yes, there are some embedded CSS here, but this is because of this page requires this. This is not bootstrap as it is. And the, uh, you see all of this at the end. These are all JavaScript. Uh, each one of them, sometimes, for example, this one. <coughs> It's not such a large code, so you can put it all together in one JS and it still works. But of course, you should try it out before. And uh, so you still have to uh, sort a few things when you go deeper, but anyway, it works fine. A plus side that I must tell you is that. What about Joom, uh, Bootstrap 3? I really cannot use it in Joomla. Yes, but be careful. Because sometimes there might be some conflict with uh, Bootstrap 2. But in my experience, that is not uh, the rule. It's, e it's not that complicated. You can use Bootstrap 3, which has got a lot of new features that are more interesting than 2.3.2 and your template will work fine as long as it's not a template that's very complex okay so if it's something that's uh, easier something that it doesn't require too much JavaScript probably it will work fine so all you have to do is download from Gatwood Oh, wait, sorry. And you find basically the same website with with uh, Bootstrap 337. They have been updating it regularly, so but not the classes themselves. So you just uh, need to keep an eye on it. And it's been a while that put Bootstrap 4 is on its way as well. I have probably been waiting for Joomla 4 to be released. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, so uh, it's not impossible to add 
Joomla on a bootstrap tree to a Joomla CMS template. So you just have to be a little bit careful. And uh, I can assure you that once you start to use it or you have people use it in projects that you manage, you will find it very interesting. Okay? So, uh, just, uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. I hope you've learned something today. And if you have any further questions, just ask. Okay, let if, me see. Uh, if you have any questions in two or three days, you can email me. Um, in New York until July 1st. So that means that I won't be answering my emails very quickly. <laughs> okay, does anyone here have any questions? But feel free to contact me anytime you want to. Okay? And I just asked the group, does anyone in the group have any questions? I, I sent a text out. But... <coughs> Okay, so no questions? No questions in uh, Olivier has a developer edition. Okay. What is here? Okay, you can use. Okay, so Olivier has a developer edition. Uh, I'm going to switch. Hold on a second. Let me switch over to me. Uh, this is going to work. Um, okay. So, you guys here can't see what he's doing. So, Olivier, because you're not seeing this right now, just gave me the JavaScript frameworks for Bootstrap Framework to load CSS. We'll load all bootstrap files, JavaScript and CSS. Um, so he just gave us the code for that. Um, I don't know what that means. <coughs> oh, that's the way to add. What is the advantage of adding all of that together? I think that's the what you use when you want to make your life easier. So when you want to change to Bootstrap 3. Bootstrap is part of core. Yes. That's why we're not using the newer version of Bootstrap because the Bootstrap 2.3.2 comes with Joomla. But Gantry doesn't come with the newer version. Gantry 4 has a Bootstrap baked into it and it's not upgradable. Right. Okay, so let me just see and then we could break off on our own. Okay, let me just thank everyone. I love Gantry. Okay, so Olivier just <laughs> responded. It will make sure your code is up to date with the Joomla version that's used if you combine it all together to use the developer version. Again, this is great. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much. Any other questions? And then I'll call this. In that sense, the gantry is a time saver. <laughs> right. Thank you to everyone for participating. I will post this recording and the presentation later today. I don't know how much it changed. So I think so. Probably. Yeah, that hurts. I really don't September. know how much. If you have any topics that you are interested in, let me know. Okay, so we'll have the next user group meeting in September. <laughs>